Here's a great question from the Storyline forums at eLearning Heroes. A Storyline user had created a text entry question, kind of like the one that I've built here, and we're just going to go ahead and enter a value and submit our response. And here was his challenge. He wanted to include a review quiz button on his result slide like this one. But when the learner reviews a data entry question like the one that we've built in this example, the review information is always going to appear right below the data entry field by default. And you can see in this example, here's our data entry field. And below it, we're now seeing where it says correct response, 8212, and we're seeing this green check mark. All this is great, except that because of the design of my slide here, this is really hard to read. It kind of looks like a mistake, in fact. I really don't want this review information to be layered over top of my um, slide design like this. So here's what you can do to fix that. Although it's not possible to move this review information, what you can do is create your own review information over top of it and design it so that it looks nice with the rest of the content on your slide. So here's how I would do that. I'm going to go ahead and click on this edit button above my trigger panel on my text entry field question. And that's going to open up this question editor. What we want to do is go all the way down to the bottom where it says post quiz review. And in this field, we can enter either a blank space or some text. I'm going to go ahead and enter correct answer is 8212. And when we hit save and close, what that does is it tells Storyline to create a new layer in our slide layer pane. It's called Review, and right down here in the lower right, you can see the layer that Storyline created. This will be what the learner sees during the quiz review. And you can see that my text is appearing here along with this uh, default box. Now, if you don't like the box here, you can make this go away, and you can design this layer to look however you want. In the timeline, you can just turn off the visibility and then go about designing the layer to contain whatever information you like. The key thing is whatever you do insert on the review layer, you'll want to place it right below that text entry field so that it covers up the spot that normally contains the default review information. I'm going to turn the visibility of that box back on and I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm going to actually just place it right below my text entry field and we'll just size this a little bit so it looks nicer with our content. And I think I'll center that as well. So what I'm doing here is just creating my own message, you know, with the box and the color fill so that the text the learner sees, um, you know, doesn't look weird, like it's overlapping with the other stuff on my slide. This this will look like it, you know, like it belongs there. I'm going to just move this over a little bit too. So I could be done here. This really is all I would need to do. But here's another little tip. An additional thing I could do is add a check mark or an X symbol to my layer depending on whether the learner got the question right or wrong. So let me show you how to do that. On the insert tab I'm going to choose shape and then select the check mark and draw a check on my slide, position it where I want, and in the format tab I'm going to turn it green. And then I'm also going to come down to the states panel and I'm going to add a new state that makes it look like a red X. So I'm going to click edit states, create a new state, I'm going to call this new state wrong, and with that wrong state selected, I'm going to come back up to my Format tab and choose Change Shape and select the X shape and now turn the color to red. So I've got my two states. I'm going to click Done Editing States and now all I need to do is tell Storyline when I want that green check mark to change to the red X. And we do that with a simple trigger. So in the trigger pane of my review layer, I'm going to click Create a New Trigger. And here's what we want to do. We want to change the state of that check mark to its wrong state, that's the custom state that we created, when the timeline of the review layer starts, but only under a specific condition. So we're going to click Show Conditions, we're going to add a condition, and here's the condition we're going to add. The variable that Storyline created to contain the text entry that the learner enters is called Numeric Entry, unless you changed it, that's the default name. So if that numeric entry value is not equal to a value of 8212, which happens to be my correct value, that's the condition I want to use to tell Storyline when to change the check mark to an X. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and preview and see how this behaves. We'll enter the wrong answer, hit Submit, we'll get our Review button, and now when we go through and review our answer, we're getting this box that we created rather than that overlapped text. So there you go. Those are some tips for making your quiz review, especially for a data entry question, look the way you want.